Shalom, shalom, everyone. Good evening. It's, today is Saturday. Um, I wanted to talk about something briefly. Actually, several different things that I wanted to mention that most people don't understand. When you, The name of Yeshua, Yeshua HaMashiach, means the Anointed One. The, the one is born, born anointed by the Holy Spirit of God. Okay? There are many things that people, because they don't teach themselves enough, they don't read, they don't further themselves enough to understand who Yeshua really was. He is the Son of God. He's everything that he said he was. He was the Messiah. You know, Yeshua means salvation to the Jews. And he came to do many things of the prophecy. He was a high priest. Okay? People have to understand that who is the Most High God and who's Yeshua. Yeshua and the Most High God are two different people. Well, two different beings, I should say, because the Most High God is a spirit being. The Most High God don't need to test himself because the Most High God created the devil. Okay? When Yeshua was sitting in the Jordan desert for 40 days and 40 nights, the devil tempted him day and night. See, the problem is people don't understand that angels never feared Lucifer or fallen angels is what people, quote-unquote, Christians call them, okay? He was tested by God. Angels, okay, they are dark angels that God has, okay, that's Lucifer and, you know, there's other angels as well that God has, but Lucifer is the one that has his minions and all this stuff, and he tempted Yeshua, Okay, Yeshua could never be the Most High God. Yeshua worked for the Most High God. Okay, this is what people have to understand. See in Scripture, when Yeshua walked, okay, the devil says, "Turn this bread, um, turn this rock into bread, like that you can eat and feed yourself," because he was starving. Okay, he was hungry. And because Yeshua was just drinking water, he was fasting for the Holy Spirit to have the full force of the Holy Spirit upon him and that he can do the works of his father. Okay? Then, when the devil came along and tempted Yeshua, if you worship me, I will give you nations. I will give you all the um, riches of the world if you worship me. And he said, no. I am the son of the most high God. I do the works of my father. I do not want anything from you. Once again, Yeshua cannot be the most high God. Do you understand? No one can be the most high God. The most high God is the creator of all, creator, or all creation. A friend of mine was telling me, he made me laugh. He's so cute. He says, well, why did God create it? You know, why did God couldn't fight the devil? If whatever, like, why do you have to use angels to fight the devil? Why God can't do it? And I said, <laughs> no one could fight God, the creator. It's, it's just impossible. He created it. He destroyed it. So it's just God has a purpose and reason why he creates things. Nothing can ever defeat the Most High God. Most High God want to perish it, destroy it. He can do so just a snap of a finger. People have to know the titles of people. This is why people are going to perish for lack of knowledge and information because people are not going through the word of God. Stop listening to these religions and telling you to stick to the Bible. No, the Bible doesn't have anything. Go to the book of um, Jubilee, the book of division. There's the same book, Jubilee and the book of division, the book of Enosh, the, the book of, of Noah. Go into all these different books of the prophets, the tree line of Yeshua, Yamashia. All these things, man, because... This is what's going to save you. Stop listening to them. No, that everything should be in the Bible. Yeah, they're controlling you that way because the devil don't want you to know truth. Do you understand? So it, it's just people are not understanding what's happening. The book of Eden as well that talks about how Cain sacrificed his brother Abel to the devil. Because Cain loved more the devil than he loved God. These are things that people have to understand, man, because... People say, I worship Jesus Christ and the blood of Jesus Christ, you know, this and that. But Christ just means the anointed one. You have to baptize yourself with the Holy Spirit of God. So it's just, 
I, I don't know what Bible studies people are getting, but this this stuff that they're giving people, this is no good. This is watered down garbage stuff. It's not helping nobody. You got, you know, if you want to send, you, you need to read, man. Because this little uh, uh, watered down stuff is not helping people. This is how the devil takes control of people because people are not reading. You understand? So it's just the fact is, is that people have to read to understand something because the devil don't care for people that walk in darkness. He already knows. You have the people with light that knows truth. And this is the problem that when people don't read and they stuck in these religion, oh no, the religion said we can't read outside of this. Who controls your religion? Because if God allowed holy prophets to create their own books, if they're holy prophets, look at the word, holy prophets, wrote it, why you can't read it? If it's made by the holy prophets. You understand what I'm saying? The logic in that, that people do what they are being told by something evil because any person in their right mind know that you have to read the books of the holy prophets because they were prophesying the word of God. So I don't understand why is it that people are so ignorant and this is why people wind up dying because of their own ignorance. Is that you need to really wake up and see what's really happening in the world. There's devils. There's spiritual devils and actual physical devils that work for the devil. You understand? Then people get mad at me because I'm speaking truth. Because, oh, she feels because she knows more than me. Yes, I know more than you. This is why I'm making these videos to help you. This is why people are going to perish and die for lack of knowledge and information. And we find somebody that's trying to help you to better you. Because I already know what's happening in the world. When people are born spiritual and we know what's happening in the world. And you don't want to listen. Then you're going to die. Period. And that's what the devil wants. The devil wants to fill his kingdom with people. He don't have no problem with that. Oh, yeah, don't listen to her. Yeah, she crazy. She evil. She this, that, and the third. He going to say everything to you like that. You won't listen. Of course. The devil does exist. He just don't want you to know that he does. And then you can continue on doing what you're doing. But read, man. Because when you read is when you have the true power of God and understand why these people came along. But Yeshua was never the most high God. He's son of God. Because Yeshua can never be, God can never be tempted by no devil. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. You understand? It's impossible. How is, if, if it was like that, Yeshua would tell you to worship him. And, and not worship God. When, when Yeshua was walking, Yeshua is a Messiah. He's a son of God. I have faith in, but Yeshua would have told you to worship him and pray to him. Yeshua never said that. You understand? He said, I am the son of God. He's the Messiah. He's the Redeemer. He never said he was a Lord and Savior. Okay? But he never said that he was a son of... I mean, he never said he was God directly. Because, you know, God directly, he was one with God. We are all one with God. And Genesis says it. Genesis says it. 5.3. The Most High God says, My spirit should dwell within man for 120 years. So his spirit is already within you. So Yeshua says, Elohim and I are one. Because what? And God dwells within everybody. You understand? It's a point of mastering that part of self, knowing that we have to be glorifying the Holy Spirit of God, being baptized, those that are not baptized, and the ones that are baptized, you understand, continue on that holy path, man. You know, I, I'm hard sometimes, and I catch an attitude when I say things, but I say things with passion and love because I mean well for people to try to help them. You understand? The devil is out there. The devil's out there to destroy people and devour them like a beast. And, and, and it's sad to say people are just giving that devil power. And if you don't read and you don't educate, you're going to be gone too. Gone with the wind. You understand? So, but anyway, with that being said, shalom, much love. God bless, and I'll talk to you guys later.